come along and learn with me about the floating blue community. Hi and welcome back to part 5 of the floating blue community, a Guardians of the Deep learning experience. In this lesson, we will be discovering more about how two of the predators of the floating blue community, the violet storm snail and sea swallows, survive. Also known as the bubble raft shell, these violet snails belong to Phyla mollusca, a group of animals that includes gastropods like the sea slug, bivalves such as mussels, and cephalopods like octopuses and squid. They feed on blue bottles and by the wind sailors. Their predators include fish, seabirds, other mollusks and turtles. This is another violet storm snail. Um, its float is more visible. So this is a ra raft of <laughs> a raft of bubbles that keeps it up on the sea surface. And this one also has a tiny little goose barnacle attached to it. A bubble raft is created when the snail traps air bubbles within a layer of chitin secreted by its foot. This allows the storm snail to float at the sea surface. As it hangs upside down, it requires reverse countershading to camouflage it. Countershading is a form of camouflage often seen in marine species. Think about the great white shark or the African penguin. Their dorsal surface, their back, is dark, making it difficult to see them if you are looking down at them from above. Their ventral surface, their underside, is white or light in color, blending them into the sunlit surface waters when you are looking up from below. This allows penguins to hide from their predators and sharks to ambush their prey. In the case of the storm snail hanging upside down at the sea surface, it needs its ventral surface to be dark and its dorsal surface to be light. In this photo, you can see some small pink cases. They are the egg capsules of the snail. That's awesome! Another very cool predator in this great blue fleet is the sea swallow. Also from Phylum mollusca, this nudibranch falls within the gastropod group of sea slugs. It feeds on the cnidarians of this blue community, the blue bottles, blue buttons, and the by the wind sailors. Seabirds and turtles feast on this little blue dragon. As with the storm snail, this nudibranch uses reverse countershading to blend in at the sea surface as it floats upside down to feed. The photo on the right shows the dark, patterned ventral surface while the photo on the left shows the clear dorsal surface. So this little sea swallow, a nudibranch, we are currently looking at on Komiki Beach. It is the dorsal surface, the light color that we're looking at. Very confusing because of the counter shading. So the deeper blue colors will be the ventral surface. So because as I mentioned, these little animals float upside down so it will be like the violet storm snail. Uh, once I flip it, you will see the patterned darker surface and that is what animals will see when looking down to into the depths. Um, so your seabirds will see the darker color. If animals are looking up, they will see the lighter color, but it's just the other way around. <laughs> Note the air bubbles in the photo on the left. The sea swallow gulps these bubbles at the sea surface in order to stay buoyant. Another fascinating feature of this little creature is its ability to store the nematocysts, or stinging cells, of its cnidarian prey and use them in its own defenses. What? No way! You are now ready for the final part of the floating blue community, Columbus crabs. Click here for the final part of this mini-series. Don't forget to click like and subscribe to our channel for more educational videos.